Hey North Point, as promised, here's the tutorial video we promised to send out concerning uh, using the Church Sensor app and the directory feature. So this video is assuming that you have already downloaded the Church Center app and made North Point your church home. If you haven't done that yet, please do this. We're going to be using the single app for just about everything we do. It will ultimately replace the Instant Church Directory and uh, My Church apps and uh, Push Pay. Uh, while there are a lot of features we will be able to use, we are being intentional about which features we add and when. So this app is going to allow us to use one single app for announcements, for giving, for signups, for check-ins, directory, and more. So if you want to be in the know and stay connected, download this app. We're going to be adding new features one by one in the coming weeks, and I want you to be able to keep up to speed with where we are. Okay, let's get to this tutorial. For several years, we have used the Instant Church Directory app. We are now going to be transitioning this over to the Church Sensor app, where you will have complete control over your information. So, once you have downloaded the app and have North Point as your home church, click on your profile picture in the upper right-hand corner and it takes you to your account. From here, you will be able to update all your information, app settings, directory settings, etc. But if you click on your profile, you will be able to update your photo and all your contact information. And just make sure you hit update if any uh, changes are made. And then you can click on my directory settings and this is where you select the information you're going to share for the directory. You can have complete freedom with what information you share. And if you need to update your information at any time in the directory, all you have to do is go back to your account page, select your profile, and make your updates. So let's go back in the directory. This is where, remember, you will select the information that other members in the directory will be able to see. From this place, you'll also be able to update your household picture, and if you have children, what information about them you would like uh, to be shared. And of course, remember to hit update if any changes are made. Now, if you want to add or edit your child's photo, all you have to do is go back to your account page, select my household, and then just select someone, whoever it is from your household, uh, select the update photo uh, feature, and then make your changes, and again, make sure to hit the update button. You can even play a little dirty trick on your significant other and change their photo without them knowing. I would never do anything like that, but I also don't like to have fun. Anyways, when you're done here, select the directory, and this is where you will access the information that other members have shared. You can choose how you want people to show up, whether by first name or last name. And I like last name because it groups family members together and I'm just used to searching for people by their last name, but you could do whatever you want. And one thing you need to be aware of though is that people cannot add or remove household members or change names or birth dates. Those changes must be made uh, by an office administrator. So you will need to contact the office if a mistake was made in these areas. Now we are sending out invitations this week for you to join the directory. We're we'll looking for those in your email. So I hope this helps. If you have any questions, let us know and we will talk to you soon.